right, today I will show you how to install the auto lead DAB aerial that you stick on the windscreen. You can buy this for £20 everywhere. So the first thing that you need to do is take off this pillar here in between the door and the windscreen. On a Civic Type R, what you do is you literally just pull the top of it off and it should all pop out. And then the bottom bit is a bit harder to get out and you do need to firstly pull out this uh, this kind of lip here, the tongue here, and then literally pull it your direction. There is two more kind of lips under the dashboard as well. So you literally have to wiggle them about until it comes out like so. So if we look at the instructions, this is the DAB AA1, digital aerial from Auto Leads. And it does have some basic instructions. It's all fairly straightforward and simple. And this is what it looks like. So you have a stick-on aerial, um, a stick-on kind of unit here, and this black part here, you need to stick it onto the metal. You can stick it onto a painted metal um, just to kind of ground it. And then we have two wires coming off of it. Uh, that will go into your actual head unit. And this one is supposed to be for the power for the actual um, amplifier. And the first thing you need to do is stick the, stick the aerial on somewhere. So you need to kind of work out where you can stick it. Obviously it needs, it needs to be this way around and you, have, you need to have it close enough so that the black part can actually be grounded out. So see another video where you're supposed to put it to the top put, put a marker there just put your finger there and then this is where it should go somewhere about there I have got a few odd bits here so I might just put it here with a few kind of rough patches I want to put the grounding strip on a nice smooth patch so I might try for it there so it's about there that I want to put it so once you've kind of eyed up where it should go, you need to peel off the first bit. It does all come in one sticker where I've seen others do come in a couple of different stickers so you can do it a bit easier. But let's go for it. So let's just stick it on first. hold it on there to make sure it does stay on and carefully apply the rest of the sticker that should be on there fairly neatly now might have been a good idea just need to check where that goes to see if that is actually going to it back on there but the next step is to feed the wires and you feed them through a gap just here just uh, behind the heaters and pop it down the hole feed it down the hole and you will see it behind your glove box which you need to open your glove box push in the sides and then you can pull the glove box fully down and then reach in to grab your wires so you open the glove box and then push in each side it will literally bend and you'll be able to see a kind of kind of stop on both sides and then the glove box will literally fall down and here's my wire that I've already fed through. Um, it just basically, you just have to put your hand up in the top left hand corner and then you can just pull them through. we can just make sure the pillar fits back on before we do any further and it 
does have a groove that the, the tongues fit in. That sits like that. And in there like so. See how we've tested that, it's perfect there. If you can see how close that is. So now I'll take it back out and fully stick down the earthing strip. Now I can put this back in securely. Make sure the rubber's on the right side as well. place but yeah you just grab all your wires from there and pull them through um, as you can see there is a blue wire here from uh, some kind of amplifier wires and the power wire for the sub in the back I could literally follow those wires which go all the way to the other side and then they can be fed through to the back of the head unit on this side which is literally that far away from the back of the head unit there so we're going to take those out now take the head unit out uh, to put the new DAB my old even DAB head unit back in and attach the two connections hey you yeah you do you like this video there is a button it's a very sexy button it says subscribe on it I wish I could click on it, but YouTube won't let me. Damn fuckers.